Tash, we're here in the Team Hotel in Turkey, ahead of the World Cup qualifier on Thursday. You've only been here since Sunday yourself, but how have you found things so far? Yeah, no, the trip's been great. Obviously, the last two games we've done really well to get six points out of the two matches and tough game against Wales, and I thought the girls played very well, and I was pleased to obviously get on again. Um, and then we're, we're here in Turkey, beautiful place, the weather's nice, and I'm confident that we can go into the game on Thursday and pick up the three points that we need. You must have some nice memories of this country yourself. Um, it was here in 2009 in a World Cup qualifier uh, where you made your England debut. Yeah. How much can you remember about that game? Yeah, do you know what? I actually do vaguely remember that. I think it was the last 15 minutes I came on and it's great, obviously, as a young player, you want to play for your country, but to make your senior debut is, is obviously my ambition and I'm really pleased now that I look back at that and think that was a stepping stone, but now I'm more involved, now I'm hoping to keep my place in this squad and push into that starting 11. I'm really pleased with how this season's gone with me, especially at club level and I've been rewarded with that and Brent's brought me in and I was really pleased to obviously get as many minutes as I did against Turkey and Belarus and to score in both games as a centre forward that's what you want to be doing. Pleased to get on the other day against Wales and hopefully I can keep picking up those minutes and then if I'm impressing maybe get into the starting 11 which is as a player you, you want to be pushing that because then the starting 11 they won't get complacent and they know they've got competition. And that goal against Belarus it was your first goal for England. How did that feel? Amazing. It was a big relief because obviously I've been involved for a while and I probably don't score as much as I should do on the international scene. Whereas obviously I scored 19 in 21 for my club. So to obviously score against Belarus was brilliant. And then to come on against Turkey and get another goal, I was really pleased with that. So like I said, I just want to keep keep getting as many minutes as I can and keep trying to score as many goals as I can. Last time out, England beat Wales 2-0 um, at the Den. You got on in the second half. What did you make of that whole game? Yeah, I mean, it was quite a frustrating game, I think, for the girls, but I think we played, our football was good, it was comfortable, and I always felt like as soon as we got that first goal, it was going to be a victory for us. But, I mean, Wales defended very well, and we had to be patient, which obviously we knew. Um, I think we've obviously worked on a few things uh, leading up and now into the Turkey game of how to try and break them down in the final third, because I think maybe we needed to be a little bit cleverer in the final third if teams compact, which is what they will do, and I'm sure Turkey are going to do the same thing. And I think they're going to be probably more defensive, if anything. They don't want to be conceding as many goals as what they did in that game, and they're going to want to defend, try and concede as, as little goals as possible. So for us, it's about being patient like we did against Wales, being clever with our play in the final third, and that's what we're going to be working on all this week leading up to the game. Will the heat be a factor? Hopefully not. I think we're playing later on in the day. So we trained um, today and the heat wasn't too bad. But I think the girls fitness wise, it shouldn't be a problem. And the good thing is we've got a strong squad. So if people are tired, then they've got good people to come on and to replace them and do just as good a job. And finally, Tash, we have to look at your season with Liverpool. Yeah. Um, top scorer and more importantly, league winner. It, it was the best day of my life by a mile. And I just keep thinking about it and obviously to be able to say that you're a champion and I mean Arsenal won it for so many years so for the team to obviously gel as quickly as we have and to make history and to win that title it was a dream come true and, and obviously as a centre forward you always want to get the golden boot and I've always been top goal scorer at the clubs that I've been at but to get the accolade of being the top goal scorer it just topped off a honestly an amazing season and I couldn't have asked to win it with a better group of girls so now I'm still still buzzing off of it and my, my, my medals on my TV at home.